वट इज इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट फर्स्टली लेट मी टीच यू वन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हाउ क्वेलेंट बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म्ड वेल वी ऑल नो दैट बाय म्यूचुअल शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स क्वेलेंट बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर हाइड्रोजन एंड फ्लोरिन एटम्स वी नो दैट हाइड्रोजन एंड फ्लोरिन विल शेयर वन इलेक्ट्रॉन ईच to form a covalent bond thus we learn that covalent bond is formed when a pair of electron is mutually shared between two atoms now what is inductive effect well consider this covalent bond between hydrogen and fluorine we know that this is shared pair of electrons between these two atoms now fluorine is more electronegative and hydrogen is less electronegative Remember that electronegative means attracting shear period of electrons. Here, fluorine attracts the shear period of electrons toward itself because it is more electronegative. As a result of this, the electronic cloud would tilt more towards fluorine than hydrogen. So, partially negative charge appears on fluorine and partially positive charge appears on hydrogen. Now, listen carefully. This shifting of electrons towards fluorine is known as inductive effect. Therefore, we define inductive effect as the shifting of electrons from low electronegative atom towards high electronegative atom in a covalent bond is called inductive effect. Let me repeat it. The shifting of electrons from low electronegative atom towards high electronegative atom in a covalent bond is called inductive effect here this fluorine is known as electrons withdrawing group and we represent it by negative i while this hydrogen is known as electrons releasing group and we represent it by positive i here let me teach you an important mcqs inductive effect is dash effect temporary or permanent well the answer is permanent inductive effect is a permanent effect thus remember that inductive effect is the shifting of electrons from less electronegative atom towards more electronegative atom now let me teach you factors affecting inductive effect well the first factor is distance when the distance increases inductive effect decreases for example consider this compound this is first carbon second carbon and fourth carbon we know that chlorine will attract shear pair of electrons towards itself so partially negative charge will appear on chlorine and partially positive charge will appear on this system now this second carbon is away from chlorine so less positive charge will appear on it This third carbon is more away so very less positive charge will appear on this carbon note it down that the inductive effect on four carbon is negligible so inductive effect decreases when distance increases secondly degree of carbon for example consider these compounds here this carbon is bonded to one carbon so it is one degree carbon are primary carbon secondly this carbon is attached to two other carbons so it is second degree or secondary carbon thirdly this carbon is attached to three other carbons so it is third degree or tertiary carbon remember that inductive effect of tertiary carbon is greater than inductive effect of secondary carbon and more than inductive effect of primary carbon Let's note it down this order of increasing inductive effect thirdly hybridization inductive effect of sp is more than sp2 and sp3 for example consider this compound we can see that this carbon is sp3 hybridized this carbon is sp2 hybridized this carbon is sp2 hybridized this carbon is sp2 hybridized Now this group is negative i or partially negative charge will appear on it because it is sp hybridized while this carbon is positive i 
are partially positive charge will appear on it because it is sp2 hybridized thus noted down this order of hybridization lastly let me teach you negative i affecting groups and positive i affecting groups remember that all functional groups are electrons withdrawing groups are negative i groups like oh co cl nh2 cn etc on the other hand all alkyl groups are electrons releasing groups are positive i groups like methyl ethyl propyl etc also remember that methyl has less inductive effect than ethyl and ethyl has less inductive effect than propyl the easy trick is the more the number of carbon is the more is the inductive effect hence noted down all these important points finally let me teach you that how we can solve inductive effect questions well consider these compounds in this case we know that halogens are more electronegative chlorine will attract this shear pair of electron the chlorine is electron withdrawing group or negative i well this is electron releasing group or positive i in this case oh is a functional group so it has more inductive effect or it is negative i group on the other hand this is positive i group in this case nh2 is a functional group so it has more inductive effect or it is negative i group while well, this is positive i group so note it down these questions now let consider these compounds which atom of halogen has more inductive effect well we already know that fluorine is more electronegative than chlorine while chlorine is more electronegative than bromine hence the inductive effect of fluorine is greater than chlorine and bromine while the inductive effect of chlorine is greater than bromine so note it down this question now consider these compounds which chlorine has more inductive effect in these compounds well we know that this is chloroethane this is isopropyl chloride and this is tertiary butyl chloride here this chlorine is bonded to 1 methyl this chlorine is bonded to 2 methyl and this chlorine is bonded to 3 methyl we have already learned that the more the number of carbon is the more is the inductive effect we can see that there are more number of carbon and tertiary butyl chloride so it has more inductive effect than chlorine of isopropyl chloride while chlorine of isopropyl chloride has more inductive effect than chlorine of chloroethane hence note it down this important question finally let me teach you one bonus question consider this compound can you guess the electron releasing and electron withdrawing groups well we know that metals like calcium are electropositive and halogen like chlorine are electronegative here this is electron releasing group or positive i group while this is electron withdrawing group or negative i group therefore remember that in case of a metal atom the group of halogen becomes electron releasing group i hope that you have learned all about inductive effect